Hi YouTube, in day three of my series of foundation reviews for the month of May, I give you a legend, absolute legend darling, in the foundation world. And it's none other than the one and the only Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Stay tuned. When it comes to Estee Lauder, I've used a lot of their products in the past, and when I was just going through specifically my foundation collection, I discovered that I obviously have a problem. Don't but not forgotten the Invisible Fluid Foundation. I actually own this, and this is brand new, and I actually have two of them. Um, I have one in 6WN1 in Hazelwood, or I'm sorry, in Sandalwood, and I have one in 5WN1 Hazelnut. So I actually have two of these. I also have the star of this show, of this video, of course, the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I have that. I also have the Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation, and this is in 6W1 Sandalwood. And I actually have two of them. And it appears that I've also purchased Perfectionist Youth Infusing Brightening Serum Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Neutral, which I don't wear neutral shades, but I don't know why I bought this. Nice little Nordstrom tag. Uh, this is something that I bought. I think they said that it was being discontinued. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. But I'll use this for this video. But yeah, I have things that I have not even opened before. And <sighs> it's a problem, guys. All right, let's get this started. So for starters, I'm just going to go in with this particular product, the Perfectionist Youth Infusing Brightening Serum Plus Concealer. And again, this is something that I'm pretty sure, I'm 95% sure, 98.2% sure that this is discontinued. So don't go out and try to find this. You may be able to find it on eBay or Poshmark or Macari, something like that. This is in the shade 5N, which is neutral, of course. It's deep neutral, which I don't know why I bought this, but again, it's one of those things like when I'm replenishing on something as you could see just a moment ago when I replenish on items sometimes I'll just grab something extra for no reason so hmm. should be able to tell that this is a very peachy salmon y color and I would consider this this is definitely a corrector so I'll go ahead and put that on first I'll just dot this in my problem areas which would be my eye area Going to go ahead and follow up with the concealer side which looks like that there's no real warmth to it but i think i can make this work especially with the foundation so because it's mine i'm just gonna apply it like this dab this in i'm gonna put foundation over it anyway and of course there's no real rule to applying under eye concealer you can apply it before you put on foundation you can put it on after it's completely up to you and now I'm just gonna go in with the foundation. I have shade 6W1 Sandalwood. Oh wow, it doesn't have a pump. I have this thing about replenishing on foundations and then just stocking them away, like not even using them, it's so weird. So now I'm just going to dot this on my skin. Yes ma'am, look at that. I love how this liquid formula is very light, but it spreads really well and it covers perfectly. Oh yes, yes lord. Oh my god guys, I forgot how beautiful this foundation is. Now normally I would put on my terracotta bronzer, but I don't even think I need it. Like, this is beautiful. This shade is perfect. Like this shade literally matches my skin perfectly. I'm just gonna set my nose, eye area, and forehead because I like the way this looks. I literally let this sit on my skin for maybe 30 seconds. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of my Velvet Noir mascara from Marc Jacobs and call this a day. Like this, this looks good. I really like this. Ooh, bitch. Just gonna apply some Kiehl's Oil Eliminator Spray to set this. So what is there really to say about double wear stay in place makeup? 
this is a foundation that has been around for decades and it has just you know stood the test of time because it is the perfect quintessential matte foundation i'm pretty sure it comes in over 40 shades with regards to where it's built as a 24-hour foundation i've never really worn a foundation for 24 hours so i can't you know speak to anything about that but most people i mean most people don't wear a foundation that long but i think it's really to just say that this is a foundation that will last for a very long time on the skin and i can definitely vouch for that because throughout the years I've worn this foundation and again this is a uh, it's a very inexpensive foundation it's only $43 it's a standard 30 ml one ounce bottle it comes in again a multitude of shades it specifically you know is a matte finish it's going to give you that matte look so if you're someone who is combination to oily if you're oily you'll definitely love this foundation this is something that you should already have in your arsenal just because it really set the standard for matte foundations it's absolutely positively my favorite matte foundation and i actually forgot how much i loved it until i actually applied it in this video i'm like oh my god i need to start wearing this because especially in the summer summer months this is something that i would wear in the summer back in the day and it's something that i definitely will be wearing now you know when I actually well there's nowhere really to go but if I really want to look good at a Whole Foods or Target or Trader Joe's what have you I would definitely put this on because this is just it goes on very easily you can use it technically I personally feel if you are someone who does not need a lot of coverage in general you could use this as a concealer I could have easily put this on my face as my concealer but I just wanted to test that particular discontinued item that I mentioned the perfectionist concealer serum duo but overall the coverage is perfect the look is perfect the shade sandalwood is dead on 100% my shade I didn't even use a bronzer and I always use terracotta bronzer on my skin whenever I use a foundation just so that it gives my skin a bit more depth and dimension and also to blend out you know around my you know hairline or where my hairline would actually be literally just buff it and it's perfect I don't I don't believe yeah, this doesn't have an SPF in it. And so with that, you know, of course in photography, it's going to look great. I can put it up to just any matte, specifically a matte foundation. And I would still want to go back to this foundation just because it feels like home. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's something you should already have, but I have never given my two cents about this foundation. So I definitely wanted to bring this to you guys. As I've said, this foundation is a legend and there's really nothing else to say about it. You should definitely have this, you know, in your makeup kit. Or you should definitely have this, you know, if you're just a consumer, you should definitely have this foundation. And, you know, I have normal skin and I love it. I love it so much. And I know people who actually have dry skin who don't hate it because it's not something that's like... It doesn't like give you that gross feeling like if you have dry skin where you feel constricted or something like that from a matte foundation so to me I think anyone can use this foundation I've never really heard anyone actually say that they hate double wear stay in place no 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave comments below and let me know if you have tried this foundation is it something that you regularly use what shade do you wear what in addition to this particular double wear item do you have in your collection or that you're interested in or want to learn more about i'll definitely with the other products that i mentioned i'll definitely roll out reviews of those foundations as well because i know the invisible fluid pretty sure that one is discontinued the double max cover or whatever it's called pretty sure that one is still available and so i'll review those as well a part of this 31 day series so yeah i hadn't even used this foundation in so long that i forgot how amazing it was so this was a good experience for me so definitely rate comment subscribe and i'll be back with a whole lot more guys bye